like to welcome the new secretary to give thanks, Mr. Daya Gamagi. Welcome ladies and gentlemen and this distinguished ladies and gentlemen just in front of me I know uh, how very well <laughs> and uh, most venerable clergy distinguished participants fellow members of the association as uh, was announced and I am again, and I just took votes as the new secretary of the Sri Lanka America Association of Las Vegas. We went through one whole year with an exemplary record disproving the skeptical soothsayers. We didn't give them a platform. These 12 months, we kept our heads straight. And I must congratulate the outgoing committee, led by President Aruna Abeyhul, for displaying high standards. Those standards are very, very important in our congregation or a gathering of this nature. We always have to maintain them. And Mr. Avekon and the rest of that committee maintain that. It is creditable when discharging their public commitments, duties and responsibilities towards the welfare of Sri Lankan community, forging ahead to bring a better understanding and fellowship. They were not distracted by the display of infantile disorders seen beyond the perimeters of the association. They set the framework, Mr. Abekon and the, and the committee set the framework for the second year. Everyone who spearheaded this association this past 12 months was mature and erudite to use his or her correct judgment to understand the needs of the Sri Lankan community in Las Vegas. We had projects designed for public affairs. We had educational and employment workshops. We had legal counseling sessions entertainment and cultural events. In recognition of expertise and social commitments, we felicitated visiting lions and sportsmen. We had a project for the children to inculcate the noblesses, nobleness of motherhood. And then, promoting commercial ties between Sri Lanka and the United States in participating a display by Sri Lanka Tea Board in Las Vegas. I will tell you something that uh, I need to remind you. In 1773, if you know the history of this great nation, there was a thing called the Boston Tea Party. Boston Tea Party was the the workers in the Boston Harbor who were unloading the tea that was coming from England, the colonial power, they refused to unload those. And they said that they said the slogan, no taxation without representation. That was the slogan of the American Revolution. In fact, the tea came from Ceylon. 
that Boston Tea Party. Tea came from Ceylon. So I would like to remind that to you. This was a very good start given by a youthful leadership of a new association to move forward with extreme confidence. From now on, with the new leadership bestowed on uh, Comrade Gihan Pereira, the association is looking forward with a positive mind while engaged in service projects and philanthropic efforts to bring a better understanding between the two nations, Sri Lanka and the United States. We intend going beyond the perimeters of the state of Nevada to reach other major cities and their communities. Sri Lankans as well as others, we need to have uh, that rapport. We intend maintaining a strong rapport with Sri Lanka, our motherland. That people-to-people -people understanding strengthens the standing of our motherland, Sri Lanka, among other expatriates in the, in the American land and among lawmakers and state in, in states and in Washington. To achieve that, Sri Lankans and their association need to maintain a positive image. In the next 12 months, we intend to do just that. Thank you everyone. And may the Triple Gem bless you. May the God bless you. May the Devas protect our adopted land, America, and our motherland, Sri Lanka. Thank you very much. Sangurina, open at the low, get the kipadina, in the